Hey guys, I want to answer the question, does cancer spread randomly or does it have a certain pattern? There's a great reference for this uh, from Professor Thomas Seafried, and I'm going to put a link down below. He has a book that he describes the whole process. He's been doing cancer research for 25 years and he uses the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting to actually decrease the risk of cancer mind-blowing research. I've got to put some links down below. There's a term for this called inflammatory oncotaxis, which basically means cancer tends to behave like an immune cell, a macrophage. It tends to invade areas of inflammation and mechanical damage. And the reason why this is so important is because if someone's going to do a needle biopsy on you, that would be similar to taking a hornet's nest and injecting something into it. You're going to get a lot of spreading of that cancer. So it's very dangerous and you have to be careful when you deal with cancer and you don't want to re-injure the area. And I know in my practice, when I would talk to people with cancer, many of them had pre-existing injuries in the location of where they had cancer. I found that very fascinating. I guess it's kind of like a virus. A virus only invades areas of weakness, like a weak cell, a weakened immune system. So the goal is to keep your body strong to protect yourself against these things. So in summary, do what you can to avoid cancer by eating very healthy and intermittent fasting, which actually reduces inflammation. And if you have cancer, just be very cautious uh, what kind of mechanical damage that occurs in the process of testing for cancer or treatment. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books it's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore. Actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress, and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.